So recently, I've gotten a lot of questions regarding how to add subtitles to movies. Welcome back to Jerry Rube Productions and another PC computing video. So today, we're going to take a look at Handbrake, which is an open source video transcoder. Here is their website. You can go download it. Handbrake is a tool for converting video from nearly any format to a selection of modern widely supported codecs. Let's say you want to convert like a um, um, wave movie file or dot move mov to mp4 or such this is the one to do to download so once you download that i'm gonna start it up there is the icon right there and here is the simple tool itself so today we're gonna be working with this korean movie called no tears for the dead so what i'm gonna do is click and drag the video onto here. So this is just a simple how to, how to add subtitles to a movie. I'm not gonna go in depth on reviewing the app itself. There you see it's a very simple tool where you can uh, change, alter the format that you want. And simply, I'm gonna change the quality of the video. So as you decrease the number, it increases the video quality. So 18 would be very high quality itself. If you go backwards, that decreases the size of the file and the lower quality. So typically, I like to keep it around like 18 or 19. 18 seems to take a lot of space, like almost doubling the size of the video. So 19 is about the same as the original size. So here, once the video is done, we're gonna go to the subtitles. In here, you just want to simply click on the Import SRT tab. By the way, you, you would need to have the subtitles downloaded too. And typically, you will have a whole range like uh, three underscore English or other languages. So typically, I like to use work with a two English. I think that's the American English when three is like a UK type England English, old English. So here, I'm going to click on the Burn In, which is directly right into the file. And that automatically uh, unchecks that. Force only is like if it has originally like um, audio, I think. So that belongs in there. So we're gonna simply, everything is pretty much uh, set right there. We're gonna click the start encode and it's gonna go through the process. And it tells me that it's gonna take about one hour to. Oh, wait. It, it changed it to about, oh, I would say probably like roughly half hour. So it goes back up. So this is a very useful tool and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more food and product reviews and useful computing help videos. Take care of yourselves.